Well, hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com. It's another Photoshop in 30 seconds tutorial. We're going through all the features and all the tools and all the everything in Photoshop. Lots of neat little tips and tricks along the way. These tutorials are always longer than 30 seconds, but the name sticks. Today we're talking about the direct selection tool. It's not really a fun tool to talk about, but it's a very powerful tool and something that you're going to love having uh, in your sort of designer's Photoshop toolbox. So the direct selection tool, I'm going to uh, grab it here. You begin by selecting a path or a shape layer. Uh, which you're working on. So I've got a path here, um, and I just click on it. You can sort of see the faint outline of the path. We haven't actually selected the path to work on it yet, though. We've just sort of like brought it up and, and told Photoshop, yeah, this is kind of where we're going to be working. Once we've done that, you can just click and drag a selection over maybe the entire path, and you can see that this does exactly what the path selection tool did because every anchor point and every bit of the path is selected. Click out over here to deselect everything. But the power of the direct selection tool, unlike the path selection tool, which when you select the path, it selects everything every single time, the direct selection tool allows you to drag a selection over just a portion of the path, like just the tip of the building here, and we've just selected the anchor points up there. So I can use my arrow keys with like shift, and I can move just these anchor points wherever I darn well please. So I'm just going to undo that. You can do a lot more with this tool though. Check this out. I'm going to zoom in here. Uh, I'm going to jump back to my direct selection tool. I can click on a portion of the path. Now I'm not selecting an anchor point here, just the portion of path running up and down sort of the steeple part of this building. Um, and I can drag that chunk of the path and move it wherever I want. So I'm just affecting that little bit of the path. Um, of course, you can select an individual anchor point, right, and drag that wherever you want. So that's really cool. You can also, when you select an anchor point, you can delete it just by hitting the delete key, the backspace key. Now, here's a neat little uh, a trick for you. If you delete an anchor point and you realize, well, now I'm left with an open path, and that, that gives me issues. I need to rejoin the ends of my path. There isn't a join paths feature like you have in Adobe Illustrator. What you have to do is go grab the pen tool, that's right, the good old pen tool, and hover over one of the open anchor points. So either this anchor point here or the anchor point up here. All right, you're going to get like a little icon that looks like an anchor point with like a path running through it. Click on that and you've activated that anchor point so you can draw from it. So we're going to go ahead and place an, uh, an anchor point back there and then hover over that closing anchor point and close off the path again. So now, we just obviously basically redid what we deleted, but when you need to go into a path that's been set and edit it, you can always delete anchor points and move them around. Now, one of the other really cool things about the direct selection tool, and of course it involves another tool, uh, is the ability to play with angles. So let's say we've got the convert point tool, which you kind of need to use in this case. We hover over one of these angles and we convert it from a straight point to a rounded point. Well, we can take the uh, direct selection tool and we can click on the tangent handles and drag them and edit these, you know, whichever way uh, we like. Now, if you only want to edit one side of your tangent handle, right, so right now you can see when I click and drag, it's moving both sides, moving the path on both sides of that anchor point. Hold down the alter option key, select that tangent handle, and you can see, voila, I'm just working on one side of that anchor point. That can be extraordinarily helpful. I'm going to undo all of that. So now uh, the, the last thing that I want to cover is all of this stuff that I just showed you with the direct selection tool. Obviously, you can do it on a path. You can also do it on a shape layer because a shape layer is a layer of artwork derived from paths. So if you have a shape, in fact, if I select this whole shape, go to like the shape tools, or I'm sorry, go to the pen tool and just choose make this a shape. You can see here, if I go to my layers panel, we have a shape layer, right? So now I can grab my direct selection tool again. The direct selection tool, it's the white arrow, the white arrow, and I can give it a fill, I don't know, whatever, green, that's fine. And you can see here, if I move the steeple over, it's just adjusting the fill uh, to go along with wherever the path, uh, wherever you set the path. So the direct selection tool, I think it's one of the most useful tools when you're working with the pen. Uh, the whole pen tool is really, really useful, but the direct selection tool is like the beautiful stepchild of the pen tool and helps you so much when you're editing your paths and you're coming back to them days, weeks, months later. So for the direct selection tool in Photoshop, that's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.